Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Iris and I'm here to do your spiritual guidance reading for the month of August 2019. I hope that you have all been doing really great. I have been doing pretty good myself too. So I did uh, shuffle the cards off camera before I start, hit record and I meditated on your collective energy and I kept on getting this feeling of being pulled over to the right somehow this feeling of being pulled over to the right and so not sure what if you are fe being feel like you're being pulled in a particular direction but uh, I wanted to share that with you so let's get started with your reading Aquarius as I mentioned, I did pre-shuffle uh, your cards off camera and meditate it. So I'll just loosely shuffle them here and then I'll split the deck and then we'll get started with your reading. Alrighty, one more time through. Perfect. All right, let's get started here. Okay, first card out for you is the Prince of Summer. I love this card. This is like such a, um, a free spirit, fun, loving kind of let's take off and, you know, ride that dandelion and see where it takes us. <laughs> okay, next up is the Three of Spring. And this is my ships coming in. And then the Moon for you. And then we have ego. Yeah, good. This is, oh, and we've got the dreamer. And we have justice. Wow, Aquarius. We have um, four major life event cards, um, three of which are right in your current situation. Wow, what a great reading so far. Ace of Spring is in your guidance position. Five of Winter. Scorpio had the Five of Winter in this exact same position. And then we have the Four of Spring. All right. So, Aquarius, I am loving the energy of your reading. Um, it kind of makes sense to me why you feel pulled, like why I got that sense of being pulled, right? Because I think that you're, that, that major things are happening in your life. You've got ego, you've got the dreamer, and you've got justice right in the center of, of your reading. So you've got a lot of spring energy. And spring energy is all about moving forward in your life. Winter energy is about what's going on um, in your head and, uh, and, and not needing to be caught up in, in, in turmoil in your head, okay? So let's start with, with what has gone on in the not too recent past okay so I think that you had this airy light let's get on that dandelion and let's just ride it to see wherever it takes us and it took you it did take you and you grew from that experience you made some changes in your life um, you know, maybe you, you had spent some time just being up in the, in the clouds and, um, which I don't think is a bad thing, but then eventually you had to come back, back down and kind of go, okay, what's really going on here. Right. And figure some things out. So the, with the three of spring here, the three of spring is about that, about growth and working on something and nurturing something and it's like you planted the seeds and maybe it was the, the dandelion seeds from taking off like this and now 
you're you're starting to see you were starting to see and still continue to see that there is growth in that area which is amazing and you can see like the ship is coming in around around the corner too so it still tells me that you've experienced some success in whatever area of, a, of your life but there is more coming to you and with the moon card here now this this is the moon card is about things that are out of your out of sight right now and so the moon kind of and i'll just try and tilt this so it's not quite so shiny there the moon is casts a shadow on things and that's okay that that shadows are cast because sometimes we're not ready for all of the information to become clear to us sometimes we need um, a little bit of um, things to be hidden from us until we're ready um, to receive the information or to see a situation for for whatever it is however this resonates with you okay so i feel that you've already experienced or are experiencing this still okay this here too is a card of letting go of worry worry and fear letting go of worry and fear because everything that that needs to be revealed to us will be revealed to us in in time okay so your current energy you've got like three major life event cards for your for your current energy so the first one is the ego card and sometimes we can be even like trapped in our own ego and the thing about ego the ego is there to protect us and the ego isn't bad it just is very much a part of who we are but it's about the ego is is fear-based and so that's what i mean when when we when we are in our ego I, i'm you may have heard that term before you are acting from a place of fear and wanting to keep each other safe that's why we behave in ways that we become if we become defensive that is a protection mechanism if we lash out at people that is a protection mechanism if we pretend to be know-it-alls, then that is a protection mechanism. So our challenge is always to acknowledge that and accept that that is a part of who we are and then let go of that part of us that is holding on, holding us back because this is about holding back from, from something because right in the middle of your reading is the dreamer and you are ready to set sail on some new new adventures and some new dreams and goals and aspirations that you have but i think there's largely a part of you that that is holding yourself back because of the the because of perhaps of what other people are telling you some people sometimes what happens is that Others will cast a shadow, <laughs> cast a shadow on us based on the experiences that they've had from their own place of fear. So they cast that on us and they say, well, I tried that once and that was not a good experience. I would not do that. And then they they cast that over on to us, project that to us. And then we take that on as our own and we create a whole story and a belief about that. And then we hold ourselves back from doing the same thing. But like I said, right in the center of your reading is you're going places. And because of either you're caught up in some type of fear and, and fear can even like manifest itself in wanting to, uh, get caught up in the material aspects of our lives. So I don't want to, I don't want to go and do that thing because if I do that thing, then I have to give up this apartment or I have to, um, I, you know, I can't afford this, this one thing that I, that I really want to have that is going to really help me grow. But if I do that, then I have to give up my car, which I really love 
my car because I feel really good in my in my car. It's it's that type of thing. It could be that type of thing as well. And but I don't think it's a materialistic thing necessarily that that it's at play here. I, I think that it is something within you that is holding you back from this um this great new dream that you have. And there's some there's a balancing act going here going on here as well because you got the justice card right so this is about um wrongs being right um you know taking a look at at all pieces of what it is that's going on or has gone on and reclaiming balance so justice is like you know the scale let me see if there's a scale in here no there's no, there's no scale per se, but I mean, it needs the scales in here so that the scales are, are weighted properly, right? So if, if something hasn't been working out in your favor, things are going to be working out in your favor. The scales are going to balance and then there will be justice in this as well. And in traditional tarot, this could, this could also mean that, you know, that there's a legal system um, something legal going on here as well. And that might very well be the case for you. But as an overall energy, I, I think that there's something perhaps that is holding you back because of number one, either a shadow that's been cast on you or that you have taken on as your own belief or something uh, you feel um, unworthy of or a belief that you have about oh that that couldn't even be possible like I've never done that thing so how could that even be possible but with the justice card it it just it just asks you to really review everything because at the end of the day that this is going to be on your side you're going to win at whatever this is and you know for some of you it might mean leaving behind um, hurts and resentments that you have because of this five of winter. And if you have a look at this five of winter, this is a hurt and resentment card and an anger card. So we've got this buildup of snowballs here and we got this fairy who is like super upset and, you know, there's a couple there walking away and he's just getting ready just to pummel them at this couple, right? And part of him is going, now it's going to make me feel so much better. But you got to ask yourself too, like, is it really worth it? You know, who, who does it, who does it, that, that retaliation and, and, and that, um, you know, that, that resentment type of thing, right? Like it, this is a, is the situation really worth it is is really what I'm hearing because you have the ace of spring right you also have the dreamer right so these are all these are both new beginnings new ways new ways of being and you've got a lot of success with the four of spring um, coming up as well this is all about newness and and moving forward and having that that contentment and that happiness in in your life and you do that by letting go of these these old hurts and the old wounds and you know fighting for for whatever you know maybe that feeling of being dragged along that I felt maybe you know maybe that maybe that is your inner guidance saying come on you know this we gotta we gotta put this to rest here let's go let's go you know we've got bigger things going on we can't drag people with us and they can't drag us with them it either you know it either it either works or it doesn't and sometimes we hang on to things right like ego ego right the fear thing we hang on to things and we we don't allow ourselves to release what needs to be released so that new growth and new life can start but it's it is it's wanting to come in for you you know and it, you're being encouraged to just like you know just 
ask yourself, is it really worth the fight? And I think that that's where this justice card comes in as well. And things just kind of balancing themselves out, right? And at the end of the day, there's a lot of happiness and contentment and fulfillment and a lot of blessings and good things coming into your life. This is like an easy breezy kind of card, you know, just a, a real contented life for yourself that could include somebody new. It doesn't have to be, but it could. So that's really fantastic. Big changes for you, Aquarius. Super big changes for you. I always say, you know, when it comes to doing life, making decisions in our lives, following our path, passions, following our dreams, um, you know, sometimes we just have to get into the river of life and just see where it takes us. And sometimes when we get into that river of life, we don't know where we're going to end up. And that part of that is, is fear-based as well, because, you know, we innately want to know what's going on, where we're going, how, what's it going to look like? Who's going to be with us? Will I be safe? Will I have what I need? Right. And those, all of those come from a, a place of fear and our mind wanting to control everything. But if we just allow ourselves just to go with the flow and let whatever needs to be revealed to us be revealed to us at the exact right time, we'll know, we'll, we'll come to see, and then we will come to know because we've experienced that we are always being taken care of. Um, we always have what we what we need. We don't always get what we want, but we always have what we need. And uh, but I think that for you, it is it's so much more. It's just I feel that there's just a little bit of rebalancing and letting go that needs to happen here that you're working on. Okay, let's check in with the wisdom of Oracle and see what messages and guidance they have. For you, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That card there. Okay. Flexible. Flexible. This is awesome, right? So be flexible in your approach to all things in life. Keep yourself open. It's like um, if you're too rigid in life, um, life will break you. And I use the analogy of a tree, right? A tree is going to bend in the wind, not all trees, but the, the trees that can sustain a heavy wind, they, they bend in the wind. They flow with the wind like this. So you're being encouraged to be flexible in the opportunities that are coming towards you um, not look at them with such rigidity, but be flexible and allow yourself the flexibility of uh, freedom and choice to make the decisions you need, you need to make for yourself that are best and right and true for you. And we'll grab one more card from Earth Magic. This is a new, another new deck that I have started working with and I just, I love this deck too. So we'll get a card or two. And I'll just cut this. And here we go. Submerged. This is a cool card. And that this kind of goes <laughs> with the moon card. It also goes with the ego card and here's why so a lot of times i hope this i've got this up right okay a lot of times when we see an iceberg we only see the the top part that's showing on an iceberg we don't see what's way 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 underneath that's why i think this is, re is really significant that goes along with the ego card right so what what we show to the world or what other people show us 
Um, we only see what they're allowing us to see and the same goes for you. But underneath all of that, there is a depth of, of everythingness that, that is underneath that we can't see and we have to get to the bottom of that iceberg um, to and have it rise to the surface. I don't know if it'd be an iceberg anymore. Maybe it'd just be a big block of ice, but get underneath that, get rid of all of the doubt, the fear, the insecurities, and allow yourself really to really fully blossom, right? So this card, the iceberg, for me, is really saying that there is a part of you underneath that really needs to to be freed that's the way i read this card for you i'm going to grab one more card from this earth magic well we got a couple i'm going to take them grounding and stillness so this tree the tree grounding you see how deep the roots are this just i think it just further reiterates what i said about um what's underneath is submerged right so you've got some deep roots there and then we have stillness and like okay this i believe is a message for you just get still be still be calm go to the lake watch the birds Watch the leaves on the trees. Just find some stillness within. And I think that you'll uncover a lot of answers for yourself. Iceberg, tree, lake, yeah. You know, this grounding too, now that I'm looking at it again, this is about going out into nature and grounding yourself with with what's real um just like the lake when you when you ground yourself when you go out into nature of any any type and you really tune into the energy of the nature you realize just how calming and still that is and and how healing that can be for you away away from a lot of people away from a lot of drama away from a lot of commotion and just tap into the natural rhythm and flow of nature. I think that would be very, very helpful for you. So Aquarius, that is what I have for you. I hope that you have enjoyed your reading. I, I hope it resonates with you and, and that you have found it helpful. Um, leave a comment below because I would love to know what's going on in your life and how I can support you. If you would like to book a personal reading with me or book in for a healing session because I am, am also a light worker. Um, all of the details and information below are below this video. Subscribe, like, share, all that cool stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm sending you so much love and light and blessings. Until I see you again. Bye.